Okay, in today's video, I've got a pretty good one for uh, the PlayStation 3. Uh, I had a, I had a couple of complaints from, uh, a, you know, a couple of people that I've seen over the last week or two that uh, PS3 has stopped launching uh, into the browser. So I started thinking about ways on how to kind of remedy this, and I came up with a bit of a hybrid solution. So uh, what I did is I basically opened up uh, the PC Launcher module and I combined it with uh, the other module that launches everything uh, from the command line. So I've actually kind of combined two modules and I took a, a PC Launcher file and I modified it to where it actually launches the PlayStation 3 emulator here. And then I added a parameter line of the entire directory right up to the eboot.bin. So I basically just kind of um, imported the name here. I used some macro editing and I uh, created it here. And it's going to go through and it's going to find uh, the eboot bin for the game and launch it that way. However, um, now it actually launches ISOs as well. So um, if you go to the top of the... Uh, module here that I've modified um, what it what it kind of does is when it launches it actually goes through and it makes uh, like a bunch of hard addresses uh, for the ISO um, it loads them into a program called WinCD EMU and then it will basically uh, create like a virtual disk from there it will launch the game um, it'll go through I guess maybe you know the module hit the end of the module and then basically uh, you know um, basically just go to the end of the file and then go through here and then close everything but um, there's two ways of launching it so you can actually launch uh, through the virtual ISO or you could just launch an unpacked game which is kind of nice because now for the FTP when you download it you don't actually have to unpack the games you can if you want to I'm going to leave the script in but you don't have to and, for, and to show proof of concept I've got two games here um, well I've got one game packed which is going to be the God of War Ascension and if we go into the folder here we can actually see God of War Ascension and to kind of show you that I don't have the game unpacked and I'm not like you know pulling some tomfoolery um, the game isn't actually here because I've renamed it and it should be at the top which is here I put the one in front of it so uh, we can pretty much just launch any game um, he, from here and it will launch the unpacked version but if the unpacked version is not there it will actually launch the ISO so we're gonna launch the ISO first and it should load up here and you can actually see it here before it actually you can see it right here the PS3 volume so it basically launched virtually it's gonna basically launch into the game using that virtual image I've already loaded it that's why I kinda like load it up pretty quick and then you've got the game here So then you're gonna hit uh, escape out it's gonna basically close the emulator and it closed the virtual image here. There's no virtual image as you can see. So let's just pick another game. Let's go God of War 3. And uh, I don't think I've actually loaded this game. So it, it's going to be... Uh, the, the loading is going to be slower. But it's going to be basically the same. So it kind of launches right in here to the unpacked version. I haven't loaded it so it's going to take its sweet time. Um, I'm going to get out and uh, it should just kind of close everything down but uh, yeah so um, yeah hybrid settings for the launching kind of excited about this uh, um, you know this update just because uh, I, I haven't worked on PS3 in a while and this was like I, I came up with a cool solution for it so um, yeah anyways thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next video